Hey, this is Thomas from The Verge, and we're checking out the new Instagram app for Android, which is available today. Uh, so we've got it side by side with um, running on an iPhone 4S and a, uh, a Droid Razor. Um, and if you've used the iOS version before, it's pretty much exactly the same. And if you've used it before, you can use your exact same account on an Android device. Uh, it's currently only, only available for phone, camera phones uh, running 2.2 or later. Uh, so anyone using a tablet isn't going to be able to run Instagram. Um, but it's essentially pretty much the same UI. Um, so popular is here. Because it's a slightly larger screen, you, they can actually fit more photos onto it. Uh, scrolling tends to be a little bit clunkier, um, but it's the same basic experience. Um, you know, titles are a little bit different, and, and you can see that uh, the way that Android highlights um, each of these different tabs is, is a little bit different from the iOS. Um, but it's largely the same thing. One of the nice things about Android, though, is that if you click through to your profile, it takes you directly to your profile page, whereas um, in iOS, it brings you to this really kind of confusing menu um, that isn't really, really super clear. Um, and so on Android, you, you can jump directly in and search right from here, whereas on iOS, you have to jump in. And there's the kind of vague find friends and search Instagram. Um, and if you want to actually jump to your profile page, you have to click through yet again. We took a pretty much the same photo on both uh, phones. The filters are almost exactly the same on both, de both devices. Um, the big thing that you won't find on Android is the ability to do uh, any tilt shift effects. So while, while you can do it over here, um, the option just isn't available. You are able to add borders, and you're able to add um, any filters. And what we found is that it's a little bit slower than iOS. Um, actually, it's a lot slower. The filters tend to be pretty quick over here. Um, but it takes a couple seconds to apply on, on this Droid Razor. Um, but it's essentially the, the same effect. And once you've applied your filters, the sharing process is essentially the same. Uh, so it brings up details on both sides. You can geotag. Um, one of the things that you will find that isn't in the Android app is uh, the ability to share to uh, Flickr, uh, which is a big one, and Postris. So Instagram for Android is pretty much the same app that we've seen on iOS, and it's available now for free on the Google Play Store.